Welcome to the Lilypad Podcast. My name is April, your host. So happy Monday. I had a fantastic weekend. I hope you did too. I hung out with my friends the whole time. So clearly that's a good that's a good thing no matter what. I um got to see puppies. Not actual puppies, they're full grown, but my little munchkin pies, Jocko, Dio, and Scruffy. Uh, Cheryl and I took them to the groomers on Saturday. Oh my God, they're so cute. Dogs love car rides, so it's always fun to, you know, take them for a little ride. And I, I'm, I'm actually not sure if I even posted pictures yet. I thought I did, but I might not have. I'll have to check. I forgot. I have a lot of stuff to post this week. Saturday night, I hung out with a couple other friends who, by the way, they got a brand new smoker. I have two words for you, or maybe three words, brisket and ribs. So good. I love good barbecue. And I'll tell you right now, my friend makes a killer brisket and killer ribs. Oh my God. So good. So that was Saturday. Sunday, hung out with Sarah, and we went to the beach. And the funniest, well, the greatest part of this whole this whole thing was that something that would have normally taken us, say, maybe 20 minutes, took us about an hour and a half, mainly because there were so many people up at the beach this weekend. And it was actually really nice to see because, you know, people are getting out, you know, you know trying to live their lives. So we went from one beach to another beach and it took us a really long time, which we were fine with because we were having, you know, all kinds of fun in the car. We got some rain and the the cool thing was, was when we got to the point where we were getting out of the car by the wall, just staring out at the ocean, you know, off in the distance, you could actually see the storm moving out to sea. So it was really cool. I did post pictures of that yesterday. So you'll, you know, on here, on Instagram, and on Facebook as well. So let's see. Um, today was just, um, you know, not a bad Monday. I saw my, oh, well, I saw Gus and Max today. My cute little bulldogs, who, by the way, I have not seen in a week. So it was really, I felt all off balance not seeing them every day last week. So it was really cool to see them. And let's see what else. Tomorrow, oh Jesus, tomorrow, big day for me. Any of you out there who have had knee surgery, I want to hear from you because I am doing a follow-up with my knee doctor. Same place I did my thumb last year. Um, hands doing really well, actually. Um, not too bad, can't complain. So same place, um, just one of their knee specialists and when I saw him initially a couple of months ago, I told him that I had cortisone shots maybe like more than a year ago. And they were great. They had definitely helped with discomfort because cortisone is an anti-inflammatory. So that helped out. But he had asked me if I ever did physical therapy or gel injections, which I hadn't at that time. So he said, before we, you know, opt for surgery, let's do that. So... I had gel injections, which is three weeks, one one shot a week. And I did about, oh, I think it was like maybe three months worth of, yeah, three months worth of um, physical therapy. So the thing with the gel injections, they didn't really do much because gel is more of a lubricant. So it's kind of like WD-40 for your, for your body. Um, but I already had good range of motion going into this, so... It didn't really do much in that respect. Some people it helps out a great deal. Me, it just, you know, didn't make a difference. But the physical therapy, that was really great because I have been doing all kinds of leg exercise exercises and my legs are a lot stronger now than they were before. So that's good. I guess it's what they call prehab. And and I've lost weight or as I like to really put it, I've released some pounds over um, since June. I weighed myself earlier this week and I still don't believe the scale, but I'm, I'm, I've breached the 70 pounds. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, 
like really excited about that. So I've done really pretty much everything. Cortisone shots, weight loss, gel injections, physical therapy. Now, tomorrow we're going to probably discuss when I'm going to have surgery. And that would be a partial knee replacement. Yeah, partial knee replacement. Can't wait. <laughs> but I will say this. When I think post-surgery, you know, into the healing process, it's going to be really awesome to not have knee pain anymore. I mean, there are so many things I want to do now, especially with losing some of that weight, releasing. If you lose the weight, it might find its way back. So say release, I release it to the universe. <laughs> um, there are more things I want to do, but my knee is really getting to the point where it's impairing and limiting any kind of, um, you know, activities, that, depending on, you know, how much I want to do. You know, I can definitely walk. I was able, you know, to do two miles last year. I want to do, I want to do up to three miles this year if I can. So, you know, um, more hiking type of things. Um, I can do light hiking, but you know, one false move and that knee, I mean, let me put it to you this way. I could be sitting down with my feet up and just do like a little swivel, like to like maybe look to the right and my, you know, cause every part of your body moves, you don't realize it. My knee, whoops, my knee can move and it can just, it can just catch itself because it's bone on bone. So I promise you, <laughs> it does not feel good. So when you're in a sitting position, feet elevated and you move the wrong way and it brings you to tears, it's time. <laughs> It's definitely time. So I will keep you guys posted on that. And any of you out there who have maybe had some sort of knee surgery, um, I want to hear from you. Everybody is different. Some people, and I hate to say it, some people I know go through nightmares with surgeries. Some people have no problems. Some people are kind of right in the middle. I'm curious. I'm really curious as to, especially those of you who had run into a lot of challenges post-surgery. You know, I could use all the advice I can get just so that I'm maybe a little more prepared and more educated before I, you know, have it done. So drop me a line. Um, knee surgery ex um, experiences, um, weekend shenanigans. And you know what? I want to know what you guys did for, Mer for Memorial Day. It's coming up. I want you to email me what you did. Yeah, I want to know. <laughs> April at the lilypadpodcast.com or the lilypadpodcast at gmail.com. And, um, well, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to leave you guys with reggae music. So clearly in the video, you're not going to hear that. You're going to have to go to spreaker.com to hear the full episode. But those of you who are listening, just listening, you guys will, um, have no problem there. So, um, that being said, we'll be seeing you on the lily pad. Seriously, every time I do this thing, this little thing here, it's like three or four times. Let's try it again. Okay, ready? One, two, three.